It can be difficult when you're planning a river cruise, especially if this is your first time, to determine which river cruise line is best for you. Hi, I'm Kofo, I'm a river cruise specialist, and today I'll be sharing the eight best river cruise lines, specifically the ones that service US and Canadian travelers. My hope is that after watching this video, it will help you fast track the process to be able to choose and pick which river cruise line is best for you. As we go through the list, I'm gonna identify which features make each river cruise line unique and how those features might actually make that cruise line the best for you. We're not going in any specific order, so, Let's get right into it. Quasi Europe is what I call the underdog. They are that one river cruise line that nobody really knows all about, but they have been around longer than any of the other river cruise lines that we're gonna be talking about. They've been in business for over 40 years. They're a family run business that was started by Gerard Schmitter. And what makes Quasi unique is the breadth of destinations that they travel to. They do the canals in France that pretty much no other river cruise line does. And they also uh, explore other destinations like the Kariba River in Southern Africa. The other thing that makes Quasi really unique is that they provide all of this river cruise experience at great value. They're probably one of the most affordable river cruise lines out there today. So if that's something that aligns with you and you're looking for something that is more budget friendly, you might want to consider Quasi Europe. The third thing that I find makes Quasi also very unique is the fact that you get the opportunity to interact with other travelers from different destinations. So because Quasi started in Europe and established themselves there before moving into other markets, I find that with their cruises, you're able to meet people from other countries. So if your idea of traveling is meeting people from other places, not just people from your own countries, which tends to be the case for a lot of river cruises, then you might wanna consider Quasi Europe. Let's move on to the next river cruise line. The next three river cruise lines that we're going to talk about are what I would consider five star plus experience cruise lines. And the one thing that makes them kind of all unique as a whole is that they have programs that are geared towards families. And I mean families with young children. So if that's something that has always been, you've been curious about, you might want to pay attention for these next three. Starting out with Talc. Now, Talc is an American-based uh, company that is very well established with land tours. They do offer river cruises only in Europe at this time. And what makes Talc unique is with their river cruise experience, um, they provide not just one, but four cruise directors. This is very unique because most river cruise lines would only have one cruise manager or one cruise director um, that manages the entire cruise experience. With Talc, they have basically a surplus, which means then that you can really customize your experience with these cruise directors. The other thing with Talc is Talc is very focused on their philosophy of you paying one price for everything. So their um, experience is more of that all-inclusive uh, feeling and all-inclusive nature. So once you're on your Tao cruise, you don't have to worry about anything. Your gratuities are included, all your meals, all your drinks, everything you basically need on your cruise is included. And like I mentioned uh, earlier, Talc also has a program geared specifically to young families, and they call that their Talc Bridges program. This mostly runs in the summer, and with the way it works is they do have specific programming for children, and I mean like teenagers and younger. Um, so you as the adult, you can have your own experience and your kids can also have their own experience, which makes it lovely for families. The next river cruise line is Uniworld. Now, the one word I can use to describe Uniworld is fancy. If you are in love with the over the top experience, Uniworld is definitely for you. What makes Uniworld unique is kind of like Talc, they also have more of a more inclusive experience. Your gratuities are included. Uniworld ships are probably the most distinctive thing about them as a brand. Everything is just flowing in opulence from the way they design the interior of their ships to the way their cabins are laid out. 
no two Union World cabins are ever the same. I don't think I've ever seen one um, that is ever designed the same. So if you love that kind of stuff, that this will be the cruise line for you. There is things like butler service available with Uniworld. And with their family program, the Generations program, you do get the experience to bring on your younger kids if that's something that is on your mind or something that you're interested in doing. The other thing that makes you know World unique is that you do have choices of excursions in your cruise experience. Rather than just the minimum one inclusion include uh, with each port of call, as with most river cruise lines, with Uniworld, you have the freedom of choice, which is a great thing that is important, I think, when you are on an experience like a river cruise. So you can tailor make your experience to you. Let's move into the next river cruise line, Ama Waterways. I call Ama Waterways the river cruise line with a heart because the way they designed their cruise experience is with all these small little touches, little surprise and delights along the way. They really make the river cruise experience personable. Some of the things that makes AMA unique are they have a huge focus on wellness. So you would find that on AMA uh, ships, you would find a lot of uh, bikes that you can check out while you are in port. Um, they do also have a dedicated wellness host that has uh, the creates programs throughout the river cruise. So, you know, if you want to have champagne yoga that is available on an AMA ship, and also if you want to stretch out and, you know, burn a little bit of the calories that you've eaten throughout your river cruise, you can definitely do that on your AMA waterways cruise. The other thing that also makes AMA unique is you can really customize your river cruise at the booking stage. So let's say you wanted to do a specific excursion for your uh, group or for your family. This is something that you can work with AMA Waterways to help you design prior to you actually embarking on your cruise. As at the time of this recording, AMA Waterways is the first river cruise line that is gonna be sailing in Colombia on the Magdalena River. They are also the only river cruise line at this time that has the one of a kind ship Ama Magna. When it comes to young families, Ama has actually partnered with Adventures by Disney to offer the experience that Disney offers, which they're really great at for young families. Question, would it be helpful to know how these river cruise lines compare to each other? Let me know in the comments by saying yes. And um, I would love to know so that I can make other videos um, about that. And if you have any questions with regards to river cruising that you'd like me to answer with one of my videos, please let me know in the comments. Let's move on. The next best river cruise line is Scenic. Now, Scenic is an Australian company that also has a heritage in land tours. And so they bring in their Australian flair to the European rivers. At this time, Scenic cruises in Europe as well as the Mekong. They have really beautiful modern ships and the cabins that they have on the second and the ter third deck level, um, rather than having the traditional step out balconies, they glass actually slides down, which converts the living area into a balcony. I think that's really cool about the scenic uh, ships. With scenic, gratuities are also included. I think that's a cultural thing because Australians generally, I don't think Tipin is really in their culture. You also get a range of choice when it comes to your excursions. Scenic is also one of the few river cruise lines that has a specialty dining venue on board their ship in addition to having a main restaurant. They're also very good with combination cruises. So let's say you wanted to um, explore the whole of France. You can do a combination cruise with Scenic exploring the Seine, the Rhone, and Bordeaux all in one big trip. While Scenic is a five-star river cruise experience line, the next best river cruise line is their sister company, Emerald Cruises. Now, Emerald is what I would call their four-star experience cruise line. And just like with Scenic, they also have gratuities included. Now, the difference between Scenic and Emerald is in things like their excursion choices. With Emerald, you do get one included cruise excursion, shore excursion in your cruise um, package. But if you wanted additional um, excursions, then you would have to pay for it. That's one of the major uh, differences. The food experience is also different um, because 
Emerald on Lake Scenic doesn't have that specialty um, dining restaurant, even though they do have more like an fresco, like a section on their ship where you can have lighter meals. On board the Emerald ships, you see the same um, theme of the sliding gas glass window like you would find on a scenic ship. There's also a swimming pool on board which converts into a theater uh, later in the day. And I also find that Emerald has um, a little bit of a focus more on the young active traveler. So if that's you, then you might want to consider this cruise line as your cruise line of choice. The next best river cruise line is Avalon Waterways. Now, Avalon's parent company, the Globus family of brands, has been in the land touring business for over 150 years. So they are good when it comes to excursion delivery. And that's one of the things that makes Avalon unique because they're really um, leveraging that advantage that they have. The other thing that makes Avalon very unique, you've probably seen this in their ads, is what they call their suite views. So the way they structure their cabins is they have the beds facing the view, which facing the sliding window. I think that's really amazing because then you really don't have to go to the sun deck if you don't want to. Granted, if you're in the standard cabin, you still have to go to the sun deck or to the lounge to see <laughs> the views outside. But I think that really makes it unique. And one thing about that arrangement is it actually allows for more space in the cabins. I found that when I was on board the Avalon ship compared to other ships where the um, beds were the regular way that we have uh, beds arranged in the cabins, you don't have as much wiggle room but with this arrangement, for whatever reason, it works where there is a little bit more space and moving around room in your cabin. The other thing about Avalon is they have really great food. And I know I've probably not mentioned this with other cruise lines, but they do have a huge, they've made a huge investment uh, in their culinary experience through the Avalon Fresh program. So if you have any dietary accommodations, Avalon is definitely a choice for you to consider. The other thing that makes Avalon unique is the range in the length of the river cruise options that they have. So from three-day river cruises to five-day, seven-day, all the way to 23, 30-day river cruise options, you have it there with Avalon. So I think this really makes Avalon a really great option for those who are working professionals. If you are able or you happen to be lucky enough to work from anywhere and you just want to put a little bit of r, &R into your work with, this is an option for you. Or maybe Maybe you're already on a business trip and you just want to tack on that little bit of a vacation at the end of it, Avalon provides that great choice for you. In addition to that, they also have a range of excursion types. So not just the classic historic excursions, they have the active ones, the discovery ones. So you really have the option to um, choose how you would like to experience your river cruise. And that is all available with Avalon Waterways. Now, if you've made it to this point of this video, I just want to thank you because you've probably been waiting for this particular river cruise line that we have seen everywhere. And I think their name is literally synonymous with the word river cruising, and that's Viking River Cruises. Viking probably doesn't need any introduction here. You have probably seen them on your TV, um, ads in the magazine. And if for whatever reason you've ever called them once for a brochure, you have probably been receiving a brochure ever since. And that's probably one of the unique things about Viking. It's their marketing. They're almost say they're a marketing company first and a river cruise line second. That's a topic for another day. But other than the marketing aspect, here's another thing that makes Viking unique. They've got the largest fleet in the entire industry. As at the time of this recording, Viking has 80 ships and that's just in Europe alone. So you can be very rest assured that if you do want to do a river cruise at any given time, chances are Viking does have a ship available for you to be able to do that cruise. The other thing about Viking is that Viking is very focused on the traditional river cruiser. So you might have, there is this preconceived notion in river cruising or most travelers see river cruising as just for old people. And I'm putting that in quotes <laughs> because old is a relative term and is very subjective. Um, but that tends to be true on a Viking cruise because they are really focusing on the boomer generation. Viking doesn't really have any focus on um, things like 
active and wellness like some of the other river cruise lines. So you wouldn't even see things like bicycles and walking sticks. So if you're looking for something that is very chill, you know, where you are not doing too much active walking and, you know, there's a bus provided almost every time for your excursion, then Viking would be the choice for you. The other thing I've also found with Viking is they really truly are the, what they call the thinking man's cruise. So there's a lot of history. There's a lot of education. Um, when you're on the Viking experience, you get to really learn a lot. So if you are more like curious minded, I would say that Viking is definitely an option for you to consider because the learning just never stops on a Viking experience. Now I've put all the destinations that Viking and all the other river cruise lines we talked about sailing in a handy chart for you. You can access that chart with the link in the description below. One more note about Viking. They are the only river cruise line in this list that does river cruising in America. So if you're interested in River Cruising close to home, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I release my video about US River Cruises. Did you come up with a short list for the River Cruise Lines that you would like to do your next River Cruise with? Let me know how you made out in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep pursuing your travel dreams.